Howdy folks, Nathan Trevor, American Collector, Coin Roll Hunter, and Nickel Roll Hunter. And I had $100 that I got on a trip, and you saw that in one of my previous hodgepodges. And I picked up another $20 yesterday at a bank, and I didn't film it, but we're going to open up $120. And as far as I can tell, this is going to be uh, Nickel Roll Hunting number one of season eight. Because <laughs> season seven only lasted about a month. And uh, that's pretty cool, except uh, I'm not prepared. I gotta probably figure out if and when I hit a thousand subscribers, uh, how to redo my seasons. Probably start at season 11 and go all the way to 2000. <laughs> okay, folks, here we are. Roll number two, and we got an awesome find, 2022D. And Jefferson has seen better days. But we turned an ordinary coin into an awesome coin. Not much in that first $20. And you might say no fines at all, but 59, 57 and a 22, and probably all Denver as they are. No, Philly, <laughs> one Philly. And here's our first of the uh, next group of customer rolls. And these look much better, including this old looking wrapper. And they can't be worse. Okay, we're deep into this next kind of roll. One, two, three, four, five. This is our fifth roll. And we got to find, kind of, it's a 1961P. And I uh, just hadn't put one in my book yet. And I still need a 1960P as well, so. It's a find. And then in my last video, um, I found this 1941 uh, stuck in between the pages of uh, my nickel book, Dansko. And so it's a 1941P, but not a fine today, but I got it in my hand. <laughs> okay, remember when I said it couldn't get worse? <laughs> the next $20 uh, were worse. And they're the ones that have this weird uh, writing on it. As well, this one, and then these three. And the only thing we found other than the 1961 was a 1958D, so no fines at all. The good news is this $20 and this $20 don't look the same. So still some chance it's the same, but you know, I hope not. And then of course, we've got some bank wrapped ones. So we're gonna find something. Okay, it's our first find in our new rolls, except for that 58. And uh, oh Canada. 1983. Okay, and the first coin of the uh, third $20 is a 1940. So that bodes well for these because the last $40 was terrible. <laughs> and we got a 1941 P, and we got a 1941 P, and we had been finding some 59s and stuff, so. All right, we're finally on to the uh, bank wrapped, and hopefully those are better than the uh, customer wrapped. And our first bank wrapped, we got a 1954, Denver. Roll 43, we found a 1953, Denver. Roll 53 out of 60, we've got a 1940, Seven. <laughs> Denver. Second to last roll of luck, we had a 1954. No mint mark. Okay, folks, we're going to wrap it up and do a giveaway. But just like my last couple videos, I don't have a giveaway coin. And I'm going out today to check some coin stars. So we'll add it when I find it. <laughs> we're going to pick a winner right now.
right, we found another dime walking out and we never returned the coins and it's silver for sure. I still don't have a date, but I looked at the side, the edge. 1957, so awesome. And for the wrap, we got these fun, dumb ones and a Canadian. 1940, 1941, 41, 47, 53, 54, 54, 57, 58, 58, 59, 59. So one of the weakest hunts I've ever had. But, you know, can't win them all perfectly. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye.